Hey guys, it is me, Happy Star again. Welcome back to Lion's Den Earth Survival. So today we're gonna be checking out the forbidden, the forgotten place in Lion's Den Earth Survival, which is the crater. Here's a fun fact: before the crater, this place was actually called Sector Seven, and even the Sector Seven has had a lot of different forms. But yeah, basically, for those who don't know, the crater, also known as Sector Seven, it's a multiplayer part of the game. And yeah, before it used to look something like this. We had a power armor, a power suit. You'd have to like kind of assemble it. And uh, then, yeah, you'd be able to access that multiplayer part of the game. There wasn't any PvP, but you could, like, fight these cocoons or something. You could stick, like, some sort of sticks in the ground, and you'd be able to get some sort of a buff for your main character in, like, single-player parts. So, for example, people would go to that Sector 7, they would do some sort of an event there, like, some sort of a task. And then for either half an hour, or maybe even for two hours, or for an hour, I don't remember for how long, but your weapons would do, like, probably 25 or something percent more damage. So that was amazing, and sadly, current Sector 7, maybe even in my opinion is worse than the sector 7 that we had like three four years ago but for those who didn't know what the crater is about so it's a place it's a multiplayer play a place in the game you play here with other players there's still there's actually even pvp right now except pvp is only on certain times pvp is really bad a lot of things are bad about the crater and probably the worst part is that it hasn't received any updates in over a year so you can't really progress in this game because in order to progress here you need to sell items and by selling these items for example here somebody bought something for selling those items you do get the the currency here called Old counterfoils and need these counterfoils to progress further. I think you need to get those counterfoils. Look at this. We need 11,000 counterfoils to increase our business level. So that's pretty much it. So I've heard from a lot of you saying that now it's pretty hard to progress here. As nobody's buying anything. But hey, we're going to be playing in that a crater here a little bit later as now we have some other things to do. I want to go back to the single player world. We're going to grind some of the... Uh, transport hub that's like kind of the well I still want to say the newest location in the game but the transport hub has been out like for over a month maybe two months ago I don't know it's been a really long time since since that transport hub came out but I still kind of like it it's still kind of cool and welcome to all those that have just joined to the stream glad to see you all over here and if you're watching this live stream after it's over then head to the pinned comments down below and there you can find timestamps and you can navigate to your favorite part of the live stream a bit quicker where we do raids where we check out that sector 7 and we do excuse me not sector 7 but the crater and plus maybe we can open up some crates and other stuff so make sure to check this stuff out and once again welcome welcome to all those that have just joined the stream glad to see you all over here and Zachary Castleman thanks for the super chat Welcome, welcome. Water of shame. So, Zachary, thanks, man. And let's indeed take a sip of water of shame. Thanks, man, for everything. Thanks for supporting the channel. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Say, so, let's get some weapons and let's go to that. I wanted to say the crater, but actually, we're not going to the crater. As I said, we're going to clear the transport up. And after that, we might do a raid or two. So, we need to kill three bulls at the farm. Then we need to destroy five turrets. So, we are absolutely going to do that. I'll probably activate the hard mode bunker. And we'll be able to, at the same time, get a floppy crate. So, that's going to be kind of fun. We're going to do that. And, yeah, later on, we'll need to just craft four hatchets and some armor, which should be very quick because of the newest kind of update. The We've gotten the Rottweilers, uh, Rottweilers in the game, but now we can also craft whatever armor, whatever other resources without having those items in our pockets as we have, like, some sort of a global inventory and the game can see loot in our chest, which is huge and absolutely amazing. We're not going to the crater. We're going to Sector 7, says Alphadron. Well, I wish we could go to, to Sector 7. I wish we could go to Sector 7. As I said, Sector 7 was probably better than the current crater that we have. I already said this, and I keep saying that probably like once in a while, like once a month, maybe during live streams, and yeah, there is that. We have two stacks of first aid kits. I think that should be more than enough. I wonder how many times Syke said welcome. Probably more than I've actually said happy Syke. I've said welcome is probably my maybe like third most used word or something. The I don't know what would be the most used word. But yeah, welcome is definitely a very used word that I use here. It's a very common word. But it is what it is. Let's get a few guns. Let's get these shotties. Maybe even let's get a few melee weapons, right? We don't really use melee weapons that often, but we might as well blast some zombies. There we go. Let's take three melee weapons, which me and you, we both know that I'm not going to use that. But whatever. Whatevs. Do we need anything else? Let's get another set of armor. Um, 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 I'll get another tactical set. And at the same time, we'll need to go to the swamp location, just at least for a little bit, because I need to upgrade my base. Let's check this out, ladies and gentlemen. I keep working on the ash wood, and we need, like, 40 ash planks in order to upgrade one chest, and that is a lot of ash. 
that is seriously a lot of ash. We still have some ash logs, but that stuff keeps running out. As I said, and I'll keep repeating that all the time, maybe some developers one day will hear that and they'll think that it's actually a great idea because I don't know if that's a great idea or not, but I'd love to have a lumber mill or some sort of a location, let's say in the swamp location where I can go there. I clear that place instead of farming, I can like clear some sort of a lumber mill. It'll be something like transport hub, maybe something like bunker alpha, like whatever you clear that place, something like the farm location, for example, you clear it. And instead of our typical scrap metal and duct tape, we get ash logs. That'd be amazing. Ash logs, ash planks, maybe something else. That'd be amazing. I'd like that. That's, that's what I want to see in the game. Less grind and more fun locations to loot. Even though, again, f f let's say clearing Bunker Alpha is also grind, but it's not the same grind as farming uh, grass or farming logs. You know what I'm talking about. Let's also not forget the drone, because I've almost forgotten the drone, ladies and gentlemen. Let's not forget about it. Let's not forget about the drone. Boom. Come to the inventory. Let's get that. And yeah, the game is still lagging. We still have the FPS glitch here. Uh, FPS lag. Hopefully, devs will fix that in the future. Hopefully. I'm gonna get another stack of first aid kits, that's it. They said it, I'll get it. Maybe that's way too many first aid kits, but better more than not enough. That is it. I'm gonna hop on the chopper and let's go to the transport hub, ladies and gents. And later on, as always, guys, you'll be able to vote which crate to open up. Either we'll go for the first crate, second, third, or fourth crate. Usually third or fourth crate wins. You guys usually vote for the third or fourth crate. Kind of depends, most of the time the fourth crate wins. Okay, so the game started lagging even more here. How about I... So I just went to Sector 7 and that's what happened. The game is lagging even now on minimal graphics. I might actually need to reload the game. Sector 7 ruined everything! Ladies and gentlemen, Sector 7. Try turning on 60 FPS in the secret option. It's already on. As you saw yourself there, it's already on. As I said, the FPS glitch is real. I've gotten lots of comments from it. As soon as I talked about it, I've seen a lot of people say that, hey, I thought that it's only me, blah, blah, blah. So it is a thing. It is a thing. But hey, after Sector 7, the game runs even worse. Well, we'll see. If I hop into this transport hub and the game is still kind of glitching, I'll quickly reload the game. Because, yeah, I do believe that Sector 7, the creator, kind of ruined the game even more. Uh... Is it normal? I mean, it's not really glitching, so it is fine. If I go on high, it'll be fine, whatever. It is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. It's good enough, right? It's last on Earth. It is last on Earth. Unless it lags for you guys. If you see that it lags, I think it lags less for you than for me. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. No issues for me. It depends. Maybe if you play on iOS, Maybe the game doesn't lag. And I'm not really sure if it lags on Android devices or it lags only on emulators. But I am playing this game on emulator and uh, on an emulator. And this game runs the worst uh, I've ever seen. Like, it probably runs the worst in six years. I've never seen it run so poorly. It's just unaccept unacceptable. It is just absolutely unacceptable, in my opinion. For me, it's been lagging since the transport hub update. Well, for me, it's lagging since the Rottweiler update. It is horrible. It is just horrible. Uh, okay, I was like, wait, why didn't I upgrade the shotgun? But the reason why I haven't upgraded it, because... Yeah, I couldn't have... I couldn't have upgraded it. Okay, so let's get these schmucks. We could attack them. We could shred these schmucks. Wait, they're doing, well, they're healing a lot. I want to see if it's possible to fight them in this door because this door is kind of similar to the... Wait, why am I losing health? Guys, I am losing health. They're not even attacking me, but I'm losing health. You see, look at this. Look at this. What is this? I don't see anything and yet I am losing health. Unbelievable. I was staying there in one spot and yet... I'm, look at this. Am I still losing health? No, I'm not losing health here now, but I was losing it. It's kind of crazy. Unbelievable. I have no clue what's going on. But I'll try to probably put it on minimal. Maybe it'll be better. Maybe. Wait, I can't even sneak. So knowing that you can only pick one skill instead of sprinting or sneaking, we could have both. Let's say it's a bug. It is probably a bug. 
Everything's a bug. Last Dinner Earth now is one huge bug. <laughs> that's, that's what it feels like. You were bleeding. I didn't have the bleeding effect there. Like, who made me bleed? There were no zombies that had the bleeding effect. Maybe? I doubt it. I, I especially looked for bleeding effects, but I didn't see any. So, I don't know. Maybe I was bleeding, but bleeding by five? You bleed by 20 and I was bleeding by five. I've never seen a bleeding effect that would give you... That thing. Oh no, I'm gonna... Okay, we're still alive. More schmucks coming out of everywhere. Well, I made a mistake. Mistakes were made. Another spit in the face. Unbelievable. That was horrible. That was horrible. You can easily avoid all those spits. But, well, I didn't. So, there's that. It's fine. At least I have another set of armor. So, that's good. That's always encouraging. Whenever I get a second set of armor, I usually play worse. I play sloppier. As I know that I have another set of armor. It's like, when will you play Project Zomboid against us, Leo? Perhaps one day. Perhaps uh, one day. You were bleeding. Nah, it wasn't me. Oh my goodness, I can't shoot! Almost died! So you gotta climb here with full health. That's another tip and trick right now. There's some sort of a glitch now. A bug, when you go up, your character gets stuck and looks at this wall for a while and you can't shoot or do anything. So go up there with full health, otherwise these toxic darters will kill you. Be aware of these toxic darters. They're no joke. And they're not getting... Okay, let's get this. Let's finally scan our first crate here. Where's the best location to use uh, rations to auto-clear? Well, in my opinion, it's always green zones. Green zones may be yellow zones because they give stones and wood. Some people like to save that stuff for... Uh, whatever the thing is called. For, like, special events, but it depends. Most of the time, special events are garbage. So I don't know, it depends. Like green locations, green zones, whatever you need. If you want wood, then auto clear green wood zones. And if you want stones, then auto clear green stone zones. And that's pretty much it. That way you can get some some nice resources. Biker magazine, thanks. I'll take it. We've got an Glock magazine that we already have. Okay, then go back in the pocket. In the pocket in that suitcase. Let's leave that blueprint there. There's no need for us to bring that back to the base unless. Oh, you can get actually factory parts here. Wait, so maybe now when somebody asks Sayak, how do I get factory parts? I can just answer. You can get them in the transport hub. I don't think you always get them. But I kind of always ignore them. But it looks like, there we go. We've gotten more factory parts. That's nice. I don't know if you get carbon composites here. Can somebody confirm that you can get carbon composites without the crates? Like actually in these crates here. Without fighting the miner or the butcher. I don't know. Well, we can get that stuff here then. That's great to know. That is great to know. I haven't seen carbon composites yet. Maybe I've seen them. I just never paid attention to that. So I'll need to pay attention more. Will you play in Crater today? Yes, guys. We're going to hop in the Crater. I'll try to do one of the tournaments. Oh, no. I didn't get the Genesis weapons. Luckily, luckily, we have some Genesis weapons in our inbox. So how about we get one neutralizer, one protector, and that should be more than enough. Bam. Bam. And let's open up the door. Okay, one of those dudes just popped. Another one of those dudes just popped. Another dude just popped. And now we have to find a way to leave this place. Because now when you climb up the ladder, there is some sort of an animation. So it's annoying. You can get stuck there easily. I don't think that's what it's supposed to be. Because it's really easy to get stuck here. I kind of want to know how many of you got stuck here because of those riot shield zombies and died there in the corner. I'm sure that number is supposed to be more than one. Transport hub, I think it's so hard. Uh, transport hub isn't a hard location. It depends. If you have unlocked it, then you should be able to clear it. Like, if... Pretty much it. Yeah. I mean, by the time you unlock it, you'll know how to play the game. There's no way that you've unlocked this place and you say that it's a hard location. Because how on earth did you unlock it? Oh my goodness. Stop it! Drop the stupid shield. Oh my goodness. Picked up the shield again. Again, they both picked up the shields. Annoying. Still frame drops. 
I don't know, I guess it's a little bit better. I mean, I'm playing on minimal graphic settings now. It doesn't really change much besides the shadows. Like, the game just turns off the shadows. Maybe anti-aliasing is also a little bit different. But, yeah. You can still profit without killing the boss and the transport up. Absolutely. You can just loot these basic chests and sometimes you can get copper inside of them. You can get like two or four copper without even killing the boss. Like, bruh, still good. It is still absolutely good. Okay, let's get that. And let's perhaps get a an M16. Let's up inside. We can probably just fight this acid melter. There we go. It's like a Revenger 2.0. Except it's even easier. Goodbye, Acid Melter. Goodbye. If you don't have gun... Gun... If you don't have Ganifer gun, then it is too hard. If you have unlocked this location, then you have guns. I don't believe that you have unlocked the transport of any of zero guns. Then clear Bunker Alpha. If you don't have any guns, if you don't have any medkits, and you play this game with one FPS, then it's very hard. Nah. Yes. There are more difficult locations in the game, definitely. If I had to rate by difficulty... I mean, let's say we're gonna, like, do, like, some sort of now a quick... A quick, quick... A tier list of hardest to easiest locations in the game. We're not gonna, like, add green zones or anything here. I guess, like, Bunker Alpha is... Motel is probably gonna be the easiest. Right, we got Motel, then we maybe have the, whatever the place is called, the Abandoned Factory. Then we have Bunker Alpha. Then we have the Transport Hub. And then we have, like, all of those other things. Like, Laboratories, Bunker Alpha, uh, Bunker Bravos, and everything. So the Transport Hub is a little bit harder than, maybe, is it even harder than Bunker Alpha? Yeah, a little bit, maybe. But it's not ridiculously harder. I mean, if you can clear Bunker Alpha, you should be able to clear this place. It's not really that difficult. The most difficult spot is Bunker Bravo, says Jayla S. Thank you for being a member for 32 months. Thank you. That is crazy. That is 32 months. Wait, 32 months. It's like almost three years. Bruh. That is a lot of months. Thank you, Jayla S, for your support on the channel. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And I absolutely agree with you. Bunker Bravo is the most difficult place in the game. Except if you do it during an event. If you do it during Bunker Bravo event, then it's a lot easier. And you should be clearing Bunker Bravo only during that event. Also, there is hard mode laboratory, but why would anybody clear a hard mode laboratory? It is kind of useless. It's kind of goop. Laboratory is the most difficult. Bunker Bravo is more difficult than the laboratory. Without the event. If you do it with the event, then yes. But without the event, Bunker Bravo is more difficult, and it's not even a debate. Even hard mode laboratory is probably easier than hard than Bunker Bravo because in Bunker Bravo you have to use guns. I mean, in hard mode laboratory you also have to use guns. So yeah, hard mode laboratory is maybe harder than Bunker Bravo because hard mode laboratory needs armor piercing guns only. The event is the only exception for Bunker Bravo. Yes, indeed. Absolutely. Okay, let's open this thing up. So guys, are you excited for the crater? Because we're gonna go to the crater today. You might be like, Say, you're bluffing! No, I'm not bluffing. They look like I'm bluffing. I've never bluffed in my life, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how to bluff. I'm physically incapable of bluffing. So do you think I would lie to you about such a thing? We are going to the crater, ladies and gentlemen. We are gonna go to the crater. The crater, ladies and gentlemen. Let that sink in. And that meme where Elon Musk brings the sink uh, to the office when he became like Twitter CEO or something. He let that sink in. Epic memes. Amazing memes. Uh, bandages. And that is it. I don't think there's anything else I want to kind of take here. No, we are not excited for Crater. That place doesn't exist. Stop it! Guys, you have to be hyped for the crater. You have to, like, at least be hyped at least a little bit. A crater vomit emoji. <laughs> it says, Jin. Stop it! Guys. All of us, let's show crater some love. Oh, 
Oh lord. Wait, can I wall check these carrions? I never tried that. Bruh, just got a genius idea, like 3,000 IQ idea. Oh no. They're the stupid parasites. Stupid parasites! Can't wall trick anything. Can't have anything in this place. Oh my god, the crater says DA, exactly. I want that attitude, guys. Be excited for the crater. I'm trying to bring you something new. We're gonna do a tournament there. God damn it. You don't wanna see a tournament? <laughs> I don't know if I wanna see a tournament myself. <laughs> to be completely honest with you. But hey, we're going to the crater. Last time I checked, we played in the crater about like eight months ago. We're like, actually, I've done a tournament. I think I've done a tournament eight months ago. Eight months ago, ladies and gentlemen. That's like almost three seasons ago. Three seasons, like three life seasons, not last on Earth seasons. Last on Earth seasons last only for three weeks. Which I don't even know if that's a good or a bad idea. I think developers also ruin seasons that way. I don't really know if that was... I don't know, again, talking about business aspects of Last and Earth Survival, they have shortened the seasons, now they only last for 21 days, and as soon as the season ends, we get another one, so you can buy another season pass right away, so instead of seasons lasting, let's say, 30 days or something, they last only 21 days, so this way, they can extract more money, but at the same time, seasons became worse. They became almost useless. So, I don't know, man. In any case, doesn't matter. That's a topic for another day for another person. Because there isn't much to say about seasons. They're just goop. And I don't like talking about goop. That's why we're going to play in the crater. It's like the crater is goop. Maybe you are right. Maybe the crater is a little bit goop. Perhaps. Crater who now? Crater. We're going to go to the crater, ladies and gentlemen. The Crater, also known as Sector 7. I want to see PvP Crater, says Vanessa. Wait, actually want to go. Wait, 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 wait. You're right. Maybe I'd like to go to the PvP Crater and then I'll just die there. I want to go there and donate my gear to somebody. There we go. That's what I want to do, ladies and gentlemen. I want to go there and lose my gear and give it to somebody. They can't even pick up that gear because when you die there, I think it loses durability or something. And, uh, um, oh my goodness. Stupid drone, open it up. Silly drone. Say crater 10 more times. We're gonna talk about the crater. We're talking about the crater, so of course we're gonna use the word crater. Some people are kind of weird. It's like same thing where I make a video on how to wall trick in Bunker Alpha, and I use Bunker Alpha often. People are like, oh my god, he said Bunker Alpha a lot. Take a shot every time he says Bunker Alpha. <laughs> and I'll take a shot every time he says the crater. Well, we are gonna go to the crater, ladies and gentlemen. The crater today. One man, one account, one crater, zero survivors. Tune in. Do not miss these videos. Okay, we need to heal up and get more space. So let's waste this first aid kit and there we go. That's a lot better. What's a crater? Um. Your mind will be blown. I'm kind of thirsty, man, and I have nothing to drink. Excuse me. Mister. That's not cool. How about I drop... I don't even know what. I'm going to drop this for now, and I want to get some food from the inbox real quick. Let's go to consumables. Uh, we got bowl of water. A stack of bowl of water. That's a lot of water, man. Okay, let's drink some of it, and let's drop the rest. Should have just gotten food instead. Because I'm also thir hungry. Maybe we'll get some food somewhere else. Actually, I'll get it now. Oh, I, need, I know what I need to do. I need to just equip this armor. I need to drop this armor. And look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Now we can get food. See? That one brain cell is working at full capacity. There we go. Let's get the canned food. Drink the water near the ship. Ha! That's actually salted water. You shouldn't drink salt water. Also, recently I got the soda stream machine. I have no I have no idea why. I just thought it's gonna be kinda cool. Because I like sparkling water. So I got the soda stream machine and hopefully I won't die. That's it. I don't know how how sparkling water can affect your body. It shouldn't be that bad. 
That is it. That's my... Those are my life updates. I got nothing else to say, basically. About my life. I just got the soda stream machine. That's it. Okay, let's deal with these uh, midshipmen's. And let's deal with the boss. Let's get the key. You can make Pepsi with that soda stream. Yeah, yeah, I got some stuff. Pepsi's actually goop. I do have Pepsi taste, but it's garbage. I actually prefer 7-Up much more to, to, to Pepsi. Pepsi's kind of like, I don't know, I'd give it a 3. Maybe a 4. Uh, for a 7-Up, I'd give like a 7, actually. An 8, maybe even. 7-Up gets a 7 because it sounds better. Maybe even an 8. I do like 7-Up from SodaStream. It's cool. But yeah, I just also like, like, sparkling water. It's pretty pugger. And I like the process of it. Clicking the button and it does... If you hold it for too long, the water will spill everywhere. Don't ask me how I know. That's it. The caveman discovers Soda Stream. I like Mountain Dew more. Maybe there's Mountain Dew. I haven't seen Mountain Dew taste things. So, yeah. It doesn't matter what brand. Everything is Coke. Everything is Pepsi to me. Like, if you drink Fanta, uh, Fante, if you drink Mirinda, if you drink Cola or Pepsi, it is Pepsi. Everything's Pepsi. All the fizzy drinks, all those sparkling drinks are Pepsi to me. Just a funny way to say that. Are we ready to fight the boss? Are you ready? Psych, like I'm not ready yet! Then buckle up, god damn it. Let's turn on this epic music. There we go. That's a bit better. And let's get ready. Buckaroos, have you buckled up? And actually, there will be just zombies here, so this is not the boss. Okay, so I'm not even going to bother about that crate. I'll go down here, and I'll see what's up. Who's here? The butcher, ladies and gentlemen. We go a butcher, everybody. Okay, so now we need to damage this schmuck. I kind of like to fight it here. You could probably wall trick it. But I mean, if you have unlocked this place, you most likely already have guns. If you don't have guns, go clear Bunker Alpha. If you want to save guns, you can wall trick it. I don't have to show you how to do it. You can find it, I'm sure. Oh my goodness, I'll get hit in the face. I'm getting hit in the face more and more. So there are lots of probably different ways of killing the busher. Some people kept suggesting me about the leg shot and other stuff. It is doable if you have it, probably. Oh my goodness, stupid wild turkeys. I hate them. I hate them with passion. I would like to use the the leg shot, right? But I don't think a lot of people have it, so I'm not even gonna use the leg shot. But leg shot can help out drastically to kill the butcher. I just kind of use things that most of the people have. So there we go. Did I bring a fully modded AK? Yes, because we will need it for the turkeys. Okay, so the butcher will heal very soon. I better go lower. I'll, I needed to get the sprinting skill. Let's quickly get it then. There we go. I will destroy the wild turkey. The dude's gonna go somewhere. Where is it going? Where are you going? He's gonna heal up! How? What a schmuck. What a disgusting schmuck. He just went to heal. Oh, he didn't have to jump because there was one turkey alive already. Well, I need to bring him lower then. It's gonna be a lot easier to fight him down there. Hey, come here, dude. Come here, dude. Actually, it's not gonna be easier. Actually, I don't like fighting it that far. He's gonna scream very soon. Oh, wow. He released that gas? I've never seen him release gas before. Okay, he 
is gonna yell. There we go, we got those turkeys, and now the dude's gonna come back to us. Um, we can use these basic blocks, ladies and gentlemen. Do not attack me. Okay, he started yelling. Uh, that's bad, that's bad, ladies and gentlemen. That is bad. Those turkeys are gonna spread everywhere! But we have the AK. It is fine, it is okay. Wait, there were three turkeys. Is there a fourth turkey somewhere? And what is that butcher doing? I think he's stuck. I think the butcher is, the, is just stuck, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's get back. Oh, wow. Okay, the dude's gonna yell again. Didn't mean that. Okay, that's why we have it. Is that it? Any more turkeys? Okay, the dude's at 400 health. So far, he has healed only once at the very beginning. Couldn't even attack it. Thought he was gonna punch me there. Okay, he started yelling. I'm gonna make a mistake here now. Gotta run, sprint back to the top. That's why I want to have a fully modded AK. Because killing these wild turkeys is wild easy. They don't even stand a chance to attack you. There we go. Wild turkey gone. We could just blast this guy with a fully modded AK. But why would we do that? Is it just me or he spawns those turkeys only when he hits you? It's kind of weird when he spawns them. But check this out. He's not really spawning them unless he hits me. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. We destroyed it. The dude healed only once. We absolutely did. Maybe there are easier ways to do it, but as, as I said, it's not even really that hard to kill him that way. So there you go. We destroyed the butcher. The butcher is sleeping, ladies and gentlemen. So goodbye to the butcher. Let's get the terminal card and let's get that all. I'd rather kill the butcher than the other dude. Yeah, actually, it's cheaper to probably kill the butcher than the other dude. He only spawns turkeys if he stutters. Wait, so is it something like the arena? Like if you hit something, if you hit the wall, he spawns those things. Does he work like in the arena? If he attacks you or because he stutters only when you hit the wall or something. Because that's how the arena works. Maybe he works like that. In any case, like it's I always would suggest you to bring here an AK as it makes things a lot easier. If you have a leg shot, you could probably use a leg shot to slow him down. Like you can probably bring him somewhere. You do a leg shot so that he runs slower. Then you run to the top and you can kill those turkeys uh, without an AK. But yeah, having a fully modded AK shouldn't be that difficult as you can fully mod it with just common mods. You don't really have to have here like the best mods in the game. As if you just add common mods to this AK, it should be plenty to kill those turkeys. As it's still a very strong AK. Actually, I've seen people prefer common mods to these purple mods on the AK, as then AK does more damage. This one does only, like, what, 18 damage? And I think the fully modded AK with common mods does uh, either 22 or 24 damage or 20 damage. It does more. So there's that. You have to keep running straight. So yeah, the Butcher. Yeah, I do prefer the Butcher. The Butcher is easier than the other boss. Why don't you use the AK knife? Because it's garbage. Oh, we've gotten a little bit of food. Hell yeah, I'll get it! Plus, we've gotten some bottles of water. Is that sparkling water? If it's not sparkling water, then... I don't want it. That I don't want it. Do you have any tips for me to finalize my chopper? Yes, watch my free to play series. And make sure to clear Bunker Alpha. It's like, how do I watch your free to play series? You might ask. Link is down in the description, or just go on YouTube and type Psych free to play. Psych F two P. Or do you like AK knife? I just said that it's garbage. Why don't you use AK knife? It's garbage. Do you like AK knife? It's garbage. It is actually pretty bad. And there's that one dude. Well, Psych, actually, you can damage, uh, ride zombies when they have a shield up with that AK knife. Yeah, you can, but it's still bad. 
more factory parts. Bro, you can actually get a lot of factory parts from the this place. Look at the loot that we've got in here. Plus, I could have like picked up some more things. We've already got in here a decent amount of loot without even opening up the main crate, so that's kind of nice. I don't think you always get these factory parts, but you can get it. Yeah. Vince says I'd rather kill the miner than the butcher. Miner is also not that difficult. You just bring this dude here and you can run around. Maybe you can also find a spot to wall trick that dude, but developers have updated the wall tricking on that miner, and you could probably uh, wall trick it anyways, but yeah, I don't see it really that difficult just running around here and shooting it. But I still would probably prefer the butcher. It is a little bit more interesting than the miner. In any case, it is what it is. Let's open up the crate now. So guys, you can vote for which crate we can open up as always. I'm going to show you all of these crates so we can open up crate one, crate two, crate three, and crate four. And I'll make a poll here right now. And uh, smash the like button for more polls, which crate to open up one, two, and three and four, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready? Three and four. There we go. You can vote right now. The poll is in the chat. I'll even probably, should I be showing the poll? I mean, we can show the poll. Maybe I'll show the poll a bit later. Actually, both of them are going very close. So I'm not going to show the poll yet on the stream. After we are done voting, then I'll show the poll on the stream. Maybe. But uh, yeah, guys. So yeah, start voting. Both of them were going very close. Now they're not really that close. Just do it. The poll is in the chat. Just do it. Just do it. It's like I got trauma from that butcher. I'm so noob. I used up four Genesis weapons and three AKs, but I still couldn't kill him. I mean, it do be like that. I'm not saying that it's like, wow, the easiest boss in the game. Those bosses are very tricky. Same thing as the blind one. That boss is still very tricky. I'll see some people saying, oh, the blind one is a very easy boss. Yes, it's an easy boss when you've seen uh, other people kill it or if you've killed it in the past. Then yes, it is an easy boss. But if you've never killed that boss before, if you don't have any experience in killing that blind one, it is going to be very difficult. I, I could probably bet everything that there is no way that you knew how to kill the blind one on your first try, at least efficiently, as that boss requires a little bit of knowledge. It's not difficult once you know how to do it. Same thing with the with the butcher. Once you know how to do it, it is pretty easy. And uh, But I guess that thing applies to everything in life. In any case, most of you have voted for the fourth crate. We can show that thing over here. Boom, ladies and gentlemen. 50% of you have voted for the fourth crate. Then let's open up that fourth crate. Let's do it. Thanks for participating in the voting. Should I really open up the, this crate? Actually, this crate is better. A lot of people were saying the classified, the, the classified crate is bad, but whatever, I'm opening it up, even though it's garbage, honestly. I'd probably open up another crate. But you guys wanted garbage? I'll give you garbage. That's why we're going to go to the crater today. That's another reason. Let's go for it. Let's see. Maybe this crate will be good. Was it good? And uh, we got nine of these uh, copper wires. Kind of cool. We've gotten some rotors. We've gotten some coils. And that is pretty much it. Plus, we've gotten two Genesis weapons. So I don't think it was a garbage crate because I don't have any of these copper wires. I don't have any of these copper wires, but it's probably not the best crate either. But it's an okay crate. All the other loot that we've gotten here in this place, it's still worth it. I mean, we have gotten six factory parts. Like, that's... Nothing to sneeze at. It's a good... It's a good place. I still think the transport up gets my approval. Obviously, I don't think they should have nerfed those crates there. It's not like that would have broken the game. Like, oh my god, people would have gotten an extra scrap metal. We can't allow that. So yeah, I think they just should have kept old crates. It's not even confirmed that they nerfed them, but it feels like maybe they kind of nerfed them. In any case... Let's bring the loot back to the base. Where do you get iron plates? You build them yourself. You can find them in some places, but you can also build them yourself on the iron workbench or whatever it's called. Um, just a workbench. It's just a workbench. You just drop basic iron and you'll be able to build it. You'll be able to do it. What about my armor? Eh, it's almost at full durability. We don't need to change anything. It is still popping. 
this, this. I will get those drone parts. I mean, we have a lot of that. We don't need it. That's it. I could probably leave the rest of the things as... Well, I would have bring that stuff back to the base. That is it. Let's skedaddle from here. While you're leaving the loot. I literally came back to get the rest of the loot. While you're leaving the loot. The pe people literally saw my full inventory with loot, right? I came back here to the chopper to deposit more loot. They literally saw my full inventory with loot. Psych, why are you leaving loot? Where am I gonna put it? <sighs> it do be like that. An average last dinner player. An average question from a last dinner player. Whatever, let's get back to the base. And let's drop the rest of the loot. And let's get ready for the raid number uno of the day. What is happening? Five blue cards from all the department. Wait, can somebody else confirm that, that we are getting now less blue cards? Because I have seen a lot of people say that they're getting less blue cards. I've gotten like, I mean, a lot of people, I've seen like two or three comments from people say that they've gotten less blue cards. From people saying that they've gotten less blue cards. Now I see... Uh, no juice gamer 900 saying that they've also gotten less blue cards only five so i see more and more people getting less blue cards half people gotten uh, the normal amount of blue cards or no but maybe maybe we do get less blue cards maybe we're all unlucky I never got blue cards from the BPD crate. No, we're not talking about the blue cards. We're talking about the blue cards from the police department. We're talking now about the blue cards from the police department. Because I've done 99 ways and I've gotten like, what, 12 or something or 11 blue cards, which was like almost average. But I've seen some people get five now. Only got 13 from 99 waves. So maybe we get less now. I don't know. The, okay, the game just got stuck. Amazing. You know what? I try to sort out the base, dropping like these kind of weird guns in one crate, other guns in other crates. But I feel like that was just silly. I think that was just kind of silly. Now it takes more time to sort out the base. Somebody said something silly in the chat. I apologize, but if you do 30, you will get three or four. It's nerfed per amount. Uh, it's still random. I've done like 30 or 40 waves and I've gotten zero blue. So it is still random. But maybe they we get less blue cards. Maybe it's still the same. We just got unlucky. I don't know. But as I said, I've done like 30 or 40 waves and I've gotten zero blue at that time. So you don't get fixed amount of cards. For 10 or 30 waves or 40 waves, I don't know. I disagree with that. Dude, we have so much of that fiber that I honestly don't even know what to do with it. Only got 4 and 35 waves, which is like, okay, I guess. Should have maybe gotten more, but... I don't know. I don't know, man. Um, this. Uh, what do we do? What do we do, guys? How do we sort the inventory? I need a button to sort out everything. If I go there, boom, I'd, I'd be able to sort out and I could just go and do other things. Wouldn't that be amazing? Wouldn't that be great? You know, like those memes? Where there's like amazing society with flying cars and everything and that's like that would be last in our survival if we had uh, if we had the uh, auto sword button use trash chest i don't have extra spare chests for trash chests and then i'd have to sort out those trash chests anyway so it would be the same thing it's just that they're the chests are full that's the problem like i need to drop these stupid high-tech components and they don't fit anywhere my chests are full already with these high-tech components, I already have 70 of them. Okay, they can fit here. Nice. I'll drop anti-reds here as well. This goes there, and that is how we sorted it out. 
We sorted out. Just organize your base as a mage. The joke is dead, man. The joke is actually horrible at this point. It's not even funny. The joke is worse than my joke, and that says a lot. I used Bloodhound and I got so many blue and now my base is full with blue cards. Congratulations. Congrats on your blue cards, man. Congrats. I got three blue for 50 waves. Yep. But I've seen a lot of people now complain about that they've gotten less blue cards from police departments. So maybe it's a thing. Maybe maybe developers decided to nerf the amount of blue cards because why wouldn't they? Okay, let's go to the farm location. Or maybe we just got all unlucky. As I said, like, probably every update and every day there's always somebody saying, Oh, developers have nerfed the rest up even. Developers have nerfed Bunker Alpha. Developers have nerfed the police department. Developers have nerfed that. Developers have nerfed this and that. It's just RNG. So, I'm just gonna assume that maybe... I just got unlucky during the last police department run. And even though I still got in 12, so it's not like it's bad. 11 or 12 blue, I don't remember. In any case, let's go to the farm. It's random, says Sam. I got six blue from 20 waves doing raider tasks last week. Last week! But we were talking about yesterday and just today. Maybe it is random. Maybe it is not random. Did we have that update last week? The Rottweiler update, maybe. I don't know. In any case, as I said, I'm not saying that it's confirmed the developers have nerfed something. And as I also said, people have been saying that something's nerfed and something's not nerfed since the beginning of the game. Maybe it's true, maybe it's not true. It's just that, as I said, and a lot of people kept talking about those cars that they've gotten less of them this time. So, I don't know. I've also seen some people say that they've gotten, like, what, only six blue cards from 99 waves. So even those people exist. Some people just got really unlucky. That's it, I've gotten everything I need to get, right? Guns, melee. Let's go to the farm location. I just didn't get any food. Let's get some food. Yesterday I got 13 right from the third floor bun crowd, but it's definitely random. One time I only got four. I mean, it is random. I'm not saying that it's not random. Everything's random in this game. There's nothing guaranteed in this game. Besides, uh... Besides sadness. Oh my goodness, this stuff is- this chest is full. You must be kidding me, man. Um, there we go. That's better. We have a bit more space. Genesis weapons and the rest of the weapons go here. There we go. Like with the transport hub, they have nerfed the transport hub. Like, people kept saying that they nerfed it, nerfed it, but at the same time, it was kind of random. The transport hub is still random, but they have nerfed the transport hub. I haven't gotten those iron uh, bars or whatever they're called needed to unlock the suburbs over here in forever. And I kept opening up the same crates and everything. The uh, C, like something, CF crates, CYF crates. And I haven't gotten, like, those iron rods, right? So they have definitely removed them. I haven't gotten them, unless you guys have gotten them. But I've gotten lots of that stuff before now. I don't really get it. Upgrade the chest. To upgrade chests, you need ash planks. And I'm grinding them. But it's a very slow process. Today, I needed three puppies for various tasks. And the farm had zero puppies. It would be like that. What's the best way to get blue blue prints? Police department. 
Police department is a nice way to get blue blueprints. Also, arena is a decent way to get blue blueprints. You get like what? Two blue blueprints? Plus one purple and uh, six common blueprints. So, I mean... Hey. It is good. The... The arena is alright. Arena better than the PD? Probably. Probably. Okay, let's quickly deal with the Savage Giant. Let's just use perhaps one melee weapon. How many more melee weapons did I bring? Okay, I brought more because I'll need to save some melee weapons for that Revenger. We need bigger backpacks. Yeah. Probably. I don't think what, whatever backpack size we get, it's not going to be enough. We'll need a bigger one after that. Like, some people just play with, like, a tiny backpack. The five-slot backpack, which is crazy. How's that even legal? Oh, my goodness. The schmucks are gonna spawn. avoided those savage giants. I could have left them. I could have just re-entered this place and they would have chased me at the end once I opened up that blue box. But whatever. Let's just get them. We already brought the guns. Might as well just use them. To speed up some things. As we still have to go to the crater today, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to go to the crater and we'll try to do a a, a, a... a tournament. Hell yeah. A tournament. Blue box perhaps here. Nope. Raiders came out of nowhere, but they're dead. They're absolutely dead. Okay, so our next goal is to also deal with the uh, whatever the thing is called. The bull, right? We need to deal with three bulls. We've already killed one. We need to deal with more. Hello, schmuck. Is it possible to join the guild? This game doesn't have guilds. It has uh, clans, though. Stream quality is low. Try to change the quality. Click on the button there and increase the quality. Oh, thanks, Sirek. I had no idea. You're welcome. Is it possible to join the clan then? Does this game... Question, does this game have guilds? No, this game doesn't have guilds. This game has clans. Is it possible to join a clan? No, this game has clans, but you can't join them. Yes, you can join clans. You can join clans. Yes. You can't join clans in this game. Hopefully that, that answers the question. Your game is still lagging today? Yes. It's lagging all the time. After the Rottweiler update. The clan that you're in, LMAO. Of course no. Why would you join the clan that I don't even play in? You asked me to join my guild. Why would I let you in? In a clan, first of all, I'm not even leader of the clan, so I'm not even, I cannot even let you in. Second of all, I don't play in the thing. Third of all, you called the clan guild. What would I let in a person that called clans guilds? That is it. I'm done. I'm done explaining. Does this game have guilds? No, this game doesn't have guilds. This game has clans. Can I join the clan? Can I join clans then? Yes, you can. No, I mean your clan. What? <sighs> I 
Uh, how about we deal with the bull? Come back, schmuck. Please. 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 Don't worry about these people. Don't give them your time. Guys, I'm not upset about that person or anything. It's just all fun. I'm not saying that, that person was trolling or anything. It's just like a fun comment. It's not like I'm angry or anything. It's just a... It's just, I thought it's a fun comment. That's why I read it. And that's why we we're talking about it. Because I thought it was funny. Not because the person said something bad. person just asked some random questions and I'm just poking fun here. That's it. That's all there is to it. There's nothing wrong with asking. Stream is no fun without these stupid questions, says MLBB. I agree. I wouldn't maybe call them stupid questions. They're just like interesting questions. Funny questions, maybe. But that's it. I'm not saying that it's anything wrong with it. And I absolutely agree. The stream wouldn't be a fun stream without those funny questions. So, it is what it is. I was watching your scum gameplay videos and then it said private video. Do you know why? If you're watching from playlists, there are some videos in the playlist already that are, pri uh, that are private. That will come out later. So, you probably weren't able to view those videos because they're not out yet. Walking Zombie 2 tomorrow, psych. No, 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 there is no The Walking Zombie 2 tomorrow. I don't know when there is more The Walking Zombie 2. I have no idea when we'll get more of The Walking Zombie 2. Yesterday we have played some on Dawn and I was very disappointed. To those that have joined to that on Dawn livestream. Bruh. It was a mess. I really wanted to play some PvP there. We have crafted that level 40 gun. It took me quite a while. And, uh, yeah, we couldn't even do any PvP. Like, I don't get it. Is Undawn already dead? Like, I tried to queue up for, like, what, seven or something minutes, and I couldn't even do any PvPs. So that was sad. Okay, nothing, and iron wires. Let's get them, and let's get that all. What's your opinion on bananas? I like bananas. I like them. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. Yo, Donut, thanks for the super chat. What an amazing name, Donut. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for everything. Welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. Diamond Blade. Let's get the combat gear. What's the meaning of last day on Earth? What's the meaning of last day on Earth? I mean, you type, what's the meaning of LDOE? Means last day on Earth. What's the meaning of LDOE? I have no idea. I played 4v4 in Undawn two hours ago, Sykes says born says. People don't hear me. If you watched my yesterday's live stream, I tried to queue up for about like seven minutes, like three minutes, then they kicked me out. Like again, then I tried to queue up for three more minutes and then like two more minutes or something like that. I don't know. Maybe five, seven minutes. I don't care. I tried to queue up and I couldn't do any PvP. That's it. Was I doing something wrong? Maybe. Maybe I'm in a dead server. Maybe. In any case, I'm saying that I couldn't do anything. That I couldn't play there. Some people said that Asian servers are full, but it's easy to find a match. Well, in that Astro 1004 server that I'm in, it was pretty bad. Try changing the server then. How about I'm not going to play on Dawn ever again and that's it. That is it. Nobody else attacked us. All right, basically a free crate. We have gotten just a hammer and a slicer. Thanks, I don't need those. This, canned food and first aid kits. Play PUBG instead. That game is riddled with hackers.
That is it. Let's skedaddle from here. How easily build steel wall free to play? Whoa. How to easily... Oh, I didn't read the question properly. I'm sorry. How to easily build steel wall free to play? You grind steel and you build walls. That's it. There's no easily. You're asking how to easily become a billionaire. You save a dollar a day. You save a dollar a second and uh, in 30, like seven or something years, I don't remember. In either 37 or in 32 years, we've done the calculations during the last live stream. So yeah, save a dollar a per second and you'll be able to become a billionaire in like, let's say 37 years or something like that. Either in 32 or 37 years. So same thing with how to build steel walls easily as a free to play, just farm steel and build wall by wall. 32 years. Okay, so it's in 32 years then. So yeah, same thing with the steel walls. Just save up steel and build steel walls and you'll be able to build steel walls. It is hard to build steel walls. There is no easy way to build steel walls. I guess that's what I have to say. There is no easy way to build steel walls. It is difficult. Uh, five turrets. We need to go to the fourth floor then real quick. Um, iron wires go there. Bam. The cabs go here. The aluminum. Red ticket goes outside. Will you do a raid? Literally, that's what we are doing right now. I'm getting ready to do a raid. So far, I didn't drop anything. I didn't mess up these chests yet. What is the worst raider's task? I mean, it depends probably from player to player. I guess the worst raider task that you can get is like two engines. Finding two engines, then you have to like find some sort of another enemy, I guess. There's 52 Mike, which is also very annoying. Like probably 52 Mike and uh, two engines. Unless you guys know other bad tasks, then I share your experience in the chat. Could it perhaps bring some miniguns? I could. I do have them here. Wait, I also have some flare guns and miniguns. I have an entire chest dedicated to miniguns, and then I have an entire chest dedicated to flare guns. It's kind of weird how these used flare guns don't sort properly by durability. It's stupid. It's more than enough weapons, probably, for the hard mode fourth floor. Let's get it. Let's get boomers and let's go. Let's get a hell from here. Five airdrops, you need five days. But at least you almost get a guaranteed airdrop. Engines, poppies, dealers. Probably. Yeah, there are lots of bad tasks. Absolutely. Okay, I'll probably need another armor. Except I already have armors in Bunker Alpha, so I might as well just get it instead of just letting it rot there. In my entire two years of playing Last on Earth, I only got three VSS. Nice. Um, where do we go? Oh, Bunker Alpha, guys. I'll need the password to the fourth floor. I'm not even gonna... I mean, some of you guys maybe will give the right password. I know. But the initial wave of people will keep giving fake passwords. So there's that. I'll need to... I'll need to... I'll need to get it myself then. 
Ladies and gentlemen, some of you broke my trust. My trust is broken and it's hard to rebuild trust. There we go. Bunker passwords and uh, the 14th. Okay, so I see some passwords in the chat. And the uh, right password was... Okay, 90749. 90749. There we go. We did it. So some of you have given the right password. Thank you. Thanks to those that have given the right password. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Some of you have given a fake password. And I'm very disappointed. Very disappointed in your actions. Extremely disappointed. <laughs> hey you, weirdo, beardo. How are you today? Friday pizza day. Tell us something about pizza. Says BJ. Excuse me, mister? Weirdo, beardo? Did you just call me weirdo, beardo? How am I gonna sleep tonight? Weirdo, beardo! Might be pizza day. Why is Friday pizza day? Who said that Friday is pizza day? It used to be Friday pizza day when I lived in a different place, right? Last year, maybe two years ago. I don't know. When I lived in a different city, uh, there was a guy that was selling uh, epic pizzas. I think you could buy a pizza for like $12 and that pizza would last me for like two or three days. It was huge. It was amazing. It, it tasted great and it was like actually cheap. Like, yeah, then the dude raised the price a bit. But it's, it was still fine. But when it just came out, like it was probably cheaper to just buy that pizza than actually cook a meal. Like it was really cheap. It was really huge. It was epic. But yeah. Now there is no Friday pizza. Actually, I still have a pizza close to me. For dirt cheap, you might be like, Sarek, is there really a dirt cheap pizza? Pizza is only $9 here. I mean, I guess it also depends on the size. On the size of pizzas, but... Here close to me, there is like a big pizza. There's a small pizza and a big pizza. There are also like huge pizzas, like family pizzas. I don't think that's a family pizza. It's just like a big pizza. And usually an average price of pizzas here in France is going to be, I don't know, 12, 14, 15 dollars. I mean, it's in euros, but I'm just going to say dollars so that it's easier. Maybe like 15 dollars or something. 12 to 15 dollars is going to be like average. But uh, you can actually get two pizzas for... For fifteen dollars here, so pizza is gonna be seven fifty if you order two of them. And pizzas are kind of decent there. I'd give them like an eight probably. So those things are kind of cheap-ish. Guys, stop talking about pizza. I'll have to order that pizza today. Stop it! Absolutely, stop it. The stream keeps loading, or is it just my internet? Oh, frames skipped zero. I mean, it says that I dropped zero frames due to network, so I don't know. I have no idea. Pizza eating stream. Yeah, the mug bang or whatever it's called. I don't know. <laughs> we eat pizzas. Actually, those two pizzas. You might be like, oh, sorry, two pizzas for two days. Well, actually, those two pizzas... Yeah, I usually eat half a pizza. There are lots of calories in that pizza. So if a pizza is 750, and those two pizzas can last you like basically four times. So you know what? It is. It is like probably the cheapest pizza that I can find here in France. I don't think I'll find a cheaper one. Oh my God, uh, holy moly. One bag of dirt equals large juicy pizza. What's up with large bag of dirt? I don't get it. Just don't or order pineapple pizza. Why wouldn't I? Perhaps I'll get the flare gun. As I said, I need to start using those weapons as well because I have like a full rack of them. 
and almost never use them. So let's like use them up for like a few days, right? The flare gun national day or something. I'll use that stuff up. All right, and spread shot. Did that work? Yes, they're all dead. Why didn't you play GeoGuessr yesterday? Uh, because we played a different game than last dinner. Not a lot of people already cared about Undone. Like, not a lot of people showed up for Undone, so I'm not gonna switch to, to GeoGuessr. But today, ladies and gentlemen, maybe at the end of the live stream, we're gonna touch some grass here. Maybe we will grind a little bit of GeoGuessr. 10 out of 10 spread shot. Yeah, I was saving it up. A whole live stream with just flare guns, yes. Guys, I have an idea for uh, another live stream here. Except I'm, guys, not, I'm not gonna tell you that idea because it's a very secret idea. No, I'm gonna play Last and Earth on two accounts at the same time. I wanted to do that today, but maybe I'll do that a bit later. I'll play Last and Earth on both accounts at the same time. Why? I don't know, just for the memes. We will be playing on my free to play account and on the main account at the same time. We will be raiding on the main account and we'll be doing bunker alpha on the free to play account. And there will be two screens at the same time. We'll see. One pizza is one pound in Aldi in UK. I mean, some frozen pizzas are nice. Actually, some pizza, frozen pizzas are fine. I mean, I don't know how a one pound pizza tastes like. Maybe it's fine. I don't know. I don't think it's going to be that bad. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, last time in GeoGuessr, we got two Ws in a row. Like. We have to play some GeoGuessr today as well. Somebody said Psych is too good for GeoGuessr. Oh, I almost died there. Yikes. Let's go. Let's go through here. I am. And, um. This. I'll get hit in the face a few times, but that's alright. In Germany, frozen pizzas are great. Maybe haven't tried them, so I can't detest to that. I can't deny it either. I love your videos. Also, do free to play. I've literally posted a free to play video a few days ago. There will be more free to play as well. No worries. Oh no. Oh lord. Oh, can I use the flare gun on a turret? Oh no. My armor is gonna break. It's fine. I want it to break. said it's dead it is destroyed absolutely destroyed it's like when are you gonna play on dawn again probably never to be honest with you uh if more people were interested in dawn i'd obviously give it another chance i don't think the game is like probably that bad like there are probably way more things to do in undawn than in last on earth the game is pretty huge but yeah not a lot of people were interested in it so i'll probably be kind of Packing my bags from Undawn. We'll see. We will see. And the game isn't as huge as I thought. It's actually... Already pretty good. As I said, I tried to do some PvP and I couldn't even find... Uh, I couldn't even do any PvP. Probably depends on the server. So as I said, it probably depends on the region, right? Maybe it's very popular in Asia, but... 
Maybe in North America and Europe, it's pretty May, probably. So there's that. And Dawn is goop. I wouldn't say that it's goop. It's it's probably better than last on Earth. Like, that's a fact. At least a fact from my side. If I had to choose one game to play for the to play for the rest of my life if I was locked up on an island, I'm sorry for the betrayal, but I'd probably choose Undawn as that game has more things to do. And I've played Last Earth already for like six years, so I'd rather play Undawn. I'd probably choose any game to the to an island <laughs> rather than Last Earth, to be honest. But uh, yeah, but even being serious, Undawn it has uh, more things to do than Last Earth. Except the game is just... is just weird. Like, yesterday on the live stream, just to drink water, you have to, like, click, like, 16 different buttons. You have to open up your watch, and then from your watch, you can get a bottle of water, and only then you can drink. But yet, you can eat from your backpack. It is so weird. I would choose Days Gone. I'm not saying that I choose uh, Dawn to play on an island. I'm not saying that, hey, that's it, I'll I'll choose uh, Undawn as the best game ever. There are lots of other games that I'd choose. But I'm just saying, like, some people say that Undawn is goop, Undawn is garbage, Undawn is bad, and yet they're play, they play last on Earth, and I'm like, uh... I don't know if I can really agree with that. And Don has more things to do than Last on Earth. But at the same time, is it better than Last on Earth? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe not. For a mobile game, I think Last on Earth is better than than and Don. It's just if I get stranded on an island and if, and I have to choose either Last on Earth and Undawn, I'd probably pick Undawn because it would take me like forever to figure out how to play that game and I'd have to play Undawn for the rest of my life, right? But Last on Earth is maybe a better game than Undawn. Probably it is. It is more simple. It is easier to play. It suits better for mobile than Undawn. Undawn is extremely complicated for absolutely no reason. A lot of things don't make sense there. So, yeah. I'd play Minesweeper. Alright. If I have to choose one game to play for the rest of my life, that'd be Minesweeper. But should go through Last on Earth withdrawals? <laughs> Probably true. Probably. But at least my life would be more interesting, right? At least I'd go through withdrawals, but then after a while, I'd start seeing with vibrant colors again. Story of Undawn feels nice. Maybe. I mean, as I said, if you like something about Undawn and if I disagree about something, it doesn't mean that you are right or I am right or anything. It doesn't mean anything, but the story in Undawn is like straight up bad. Like I gave it a three during the yesterday's live stream, but I think I was just being generous. The story in Undawn is like legit bad. Last on Earth almost doesn't have a story, and the story is a lot better in Last on Earth. Like Last on Earth's story is probably like a four, maybe. And Dawn's story is even worse than that. There are some interesting things at the beginning, kinda. Well, like it goes downhill very quick. Sayak will cultivate apes with minimal intelligence to grind last on earth for me daily. <laughs> cultivate apes. What? Imagine you teach them how to farm wood and they'll just farm wood. It do be like that. The acts are like story. Yeah, yeah, Last on Earth has acts and it does have some sort of a story, but I'm not going to say that wow, it's the best story ever. I'm saying I'm giving it a four. 
do you play strategy games, RTS and stuff? I played lots of Stronghold, like the original Stronghold, the Stronghold Crusaders. Then I've played, uh, and most recently I've played a lot of AOE 4, Age of Empires 4. I probably got like over 100 hours there. And uh, then I just stopped playing it because I got really annoyed in Age of Empires 4. It's a game that you have to constantly keep up with updates and keep up with everything. And it was interesting to play it, but then it just at some point it got annoying. Like I just couldn't keep up. I think I stopped playing it for a month and then they came out with a lot of new uh, civs there. They added Malians, they added... Uh, whatever, whoever else they added there. Yeah, they added lots of other things, lots of new patches, so I had to basically, like, relearn mostly everything, and... Yeah. It's a very grindy game. By grindy, like, you have to, like, sweat a lot in it. You can't just chillax and play it. So, yeah, did you ever play Metro series? I have played Metro Exodus. It was amazing. And here on the channel, I've played Metro Exodus. And there we go, guys. We have used some flare guns. I didn't use a lot of them, but I used some of them. So that is something. Okay, let's go for the raid, and then we have the... The Sector 7. We have to go to the crater. This is the main topic of today. Have you played XCOM? No, I haven't played XCOM. But that's kind of where my RTS stuff ends. Those are like the three RTS games that I've played. The Two Strongholds and uh, Age of Empires 4. My brother streams Age of Empires 4 on Twitch. A very nice shout out to him and uh, best of luck to him. From content creators about on Age of Empires, I only know Beastie Cutie. I watched that dude. And there are some other. There's like Lord Marine, but I don't really watch him. So I only watch Beastie Cutie and that's it. I used to watch his streams. And I still occasionally watch some of his videos, even though I don't play the game now for like half a year or something. But I still occasionally watch some of his videos. There we go, let's sort that out. And let's get ready. Psych brain is loading. Psych's brain is loading. Um, Copper goes there. Steel bars. Whatever, we, we also store steel bars there, so keep them so we'll keep them I know the developers changed the recipe for the water pump to for the water pump where for the water pump in the game I think it became easier to build now yeah it's a lot easier to build you no longer need steel like water pump is very cheap to build now give XCOM a try you might like it maybe maybe Just currently, I'm not really searching for any new games to play. As I still need to... I need to finish Witcher 3 for the second time. That's the goal right now. Um... Thinking again, we need to craft five hatchets, right? There we go, let's craft five iron hatchets. Yo, Los Morangus, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. I wish there was more stuff to do in Dead Island, too. Yeah, I think it's a fun game. Uh, if we're talking about Dead Island, too, it's a fun game. But yeah, after the main story, and if you do the side quest, there isn't much left to do there, I guess. But same thing goes with a lot of other games, I guess. I don't know. It's a game, you beat it, that's it, you forget it. I don't think you're supposed to play one game for the rest of your life. Same with Dying Light and Dying Light 2, you beat the games, and that's it, those are fun games. Same thing with Dead Island 2, I liked it.
Will it do more Dawn of Zombies? Yes, there will be more Dawn of Zombies videos. Absolutely. One, two, three, four, and five. There we go. I keep forgetting you can craft without the items in your backpack, and I keep getting them and wasting time. I totally believe I almost got wood. I almost went to my inbox. Like, in my head, I already went to the inbox to search for stones and wood. But then I realized that maybe I have that stuff at the base, and then I remembered that, oh, I can actually craft it that way. So I totally feel you. I think even during the previous last live livestream, I still kept getting items from the chest to craft things. State of the cave was gem of a game, probably. Probably. Um, nothing, nothing. That is it. We are ready. Let's just talk to the raiders. Unless I've already talked to them. No, I haven't. Go skedaddle from the base. Show me the base. Give me the coordinates. Thousand steel raid, yes. What's the difference between Dying Light and Dead by Daylight? Those are both different games. First raid of the day, did you grind the settlement? And no, we didn't grind the settlement yet, but we have to go to the crater today. Whoa, we're gonna be raiding Dracula. Hell yeah. I always wanted to raid that dude. Elder, you raid Dracula. Is it a good raid? Is it a goop raid? Or is it an amazing raid, ladies and gentlemen? That is it. Dracula. Let's go to the Dracula's raid. On what level did you get the extra pocket? I have no idea because I'm level 74 and I still don't have it, says Dragon. Well, I have no idea when you'll get it. It's all random. Have you gotten any Rottweilers? No, I haven't gotten them. And as I said, I'm not even planning to get them. If there's an opportunity for me to get them, like if devs propose me to... If devs propose me to send that uh, Rottweiler, I could request devs to send them or something. I'm not going to ask for any of that and I'm not going to accept anything because I don't need any Rottweilers. I think they're garbage. That's my humble opinion. So even if I get them for free, I wouldn't accept them. Does that make any sense? So hopefully that answers the question. Our bases are real players. No, these are not real player bases. For the longest time, people kept saying that these are copies of real player bases, but... Now I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure if these are the copies of real player bases because I haven't seen a single person saying that it's their base. Like, I haven't seen any confirmation saying that it's actually somebody's base. So maybe those are just, like, generated base or something. Maybe devs made those bases. I don't even know if these are copies of real player bases. In any case, you're not rating real players here. After so many yes, I is gonna play in the crater. Yes. So buckle up, buckaroos. I'm kind of interested to go there and do a tournament. As I said, last time we've done that tournament eight months ago. I think I mentioned that already today during the live stream. But we'll go there again. Whatever, I'll get more leather. I'll take it. Oh my god, sake, that's my base. I apologize for raiding your base. But why is it so goop? Haven't you been watching my free-to-play videos? You see, guys, it's all... It's all thought about. I am making those free-to-play videos to educate you how to play the game. By educating you, you get better at the game. You get better loot. And if you have better loot, I can raid better bases. So this person clearly hasn't been watching my free-to-play videos. Disappointed. Totally disappointed. All jokes aside again, you don't rate real players. But you got the point. It's a pretty goopy base. Whoever owns this base, it's pretty goopy. 
And again, I know, guys, we're not rating real players. I think I have to say that many times. Oh, no, I clicked the wrong button. Um, that's it. I'll just skedaddle with everything that we've got in here. Does this base get my... Does this base get my approval? Stack of first eight kids. Almost two stacks of bandages, some food. I mean, let's give it Sykes approval. It is a pretty bad base. Like, I'd give it a two out of ten. Like, barely. It barely gets Sykes approval, but it gets Sykes approval. To get Sykes approval, it has to be two out of ten. But again, if this was the worst base, like I guess this should be the worst base that you can find. If you can, if you could rate bases like this, it's still fine. Like you could get wood or something. And if this is the worst base, then it's still okay, I guess. You can still get profit from this raid. Like I still, you, can, you still get profit from this raid. Maybe not guns, but you get wooden planks and that's fine. Minus three out of 10. All right, PC4. I've been playing for months and I can't raid. You need to be 100, level 150 to raid. Once you reach level 150, then you can call raiders on the radio. You can do their tasks and only then you can raid. Hopefully that answers the question. Okay, so let's quickly sort out the inventory. And that is it, ladies and gents. Let's go to the sector seven. Am I excited? I know. We'll see. We will totally see, ladies and gentlemen. I'll try to do that tournament. Have you played the forest in Sons of the Forest? Yes, I've played and I've made some videos on the forest. We've beaten the forest, actually, on the channel. I've even made some VR videos on the forest. And I have beaten Sons of the Forest as well. So, yeah, we've beaten both uh, both of the forests. I played the forest on the day it came out. Sons of the Forest. So, yeah. There might be more Sons of the Forest. I kind of want to replay it again because the developers have added more updates. There are, there, there are more things there now, so I kind of want to replay it again. But I don't know if I'll wait for more updates or I'll replay it now. And I'll replay it again when the game releases fully. Oh my goodness, I don't have space to store the food. What do I do? I'll drop the Glock over here. The electronic circuit. And now I have some wood to store. Uh, some food to store. Where do I store it? Like, actu like actually, where do I store the, the food? Well, I can only give meat to doggos, but at the same time, I want to save that meat in case I need it. But if I'll need that meat, I'll get it. There we go. Let's give that meat to doggos. Also, by the fridge, we all, the, I already have the fridge, and the fridge is full. The fridge is already full with uh, with turkeys, I guess, for doggos. In the truck. Yes, yeah, so we can store that stuff in the truck. Absolutely. Okay, let's quickly go to the settlement. Let's replenish the workbenches there. And let's go to, cra to the crater. The crater, huh? Um, the brain is working at 1% capacity. There we go. Let's get that. Yeah, it's gonna good be gonna be good enough. How can you get rich and last on Earth? Because I didn't really understand from the free-to-play series. We watched the free-to-play series again, man. If you didn't understand that, then you could just probably search for a different game. I'm sorry for being brutally honest here, but if you watch the free-to-play series and you still don't know how to get rich. If you watch the full free-to-play series, like the entire playlist, and you still don't know how to get rich, then Maybe Last and Earth is not just for you, man. There are other games that you can play outside uh, play outside of Last and Earth. Okay, let's get that daily loot. In short, 
Like, whatever, 10 free-to-play episodes combined into one sentence. Just clear bunker alpha, that's it. Wow, Savage Psych. I'm not saying anything wrong. Maybe some people really don't get how to play Last Earth and there's nothing wrong with it. It's not like... It's not like there's anything wrong of not knowing how to play Last Earth. If you don't know how to play it, if you don't understand it, it's fine. I get it. I'm just saying that there are other games that you can play. You don't have to play Last Earth. Why would you waste your time playing Last Earth? If you don't understand it, there are other games that you can play. So don't worry, mate. Um, actually, I don't need anything here. How does the daily loot work? You go there and you get daily loot. That's how it works. <laughs> how does the daily loot work? You go there and you get daily loot. There we go. You don't get survival guide rewards, no good seasonal rewards, only goop. Maybe. There's always bunker alpha. That's what I can say, ladies and gentlemen. There's always bunker alpha. Okay, let's start getting this and let's probably skedaddle from here. That is it. We have replenished and we have grinded in the settlement today. We have officially grinded in the settlement. That is it. We did it. I'll need to make like a checkbox on the live stream, like the things that we need to do, grind in the settlement. Now I could put place a checkbox there, check. Oh no, I brought those iron billets here. Um, let's go here then. How do you get the daily loot? You go there and you click get daily loot once you have assembled everything there and once you have progress in the settlement. You need to progress in the settlement. You have to complete expeditions to get daily loot. Yes, you have to finish the expeditions. Yes. You do expeditions, but for that you need to assemble things and whatever. Just follow the axe and you'll be able to do it. Could you explain the settlement for a player who quit two years ago? Uh... Yes, you start, you go into this new place, you unlock it, and there will be lots of things that you need to build. Like, you'll need to build this garage, you'll need to assemble your minivan. Basically, just assemble everything here. And that's it, then you'll be able to do, like, some random expeditions. I'm not gonna start expeditions now, I'm gonna assume that you already know what it is. It's just, like, some... Something goopy. We do, like, random expeditions, you don't use any of your loot, but you need to beat those expeditions, and you get here... Loot. For beating those expeditions. And then there are every five... Levels that you beat, you get some more daily loot. And yeah, there are different levels of these expeditions. And you get more daily loot. Was that a good explanation? I don't know. It's as good as I can do. Basically, it's not connected to your main base at all. It's like... Yeah. You just need to use, you just need to bring your own resources from your base to the settlement. And then from maybe daily loot, you'll be able to recoup some of those resources. I don't know. In any case, let's go to the crater. That is it. Amazing explanation, man. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That was a pretty goop explanation, but I mean, I don't know how else to explain that settlement in a few words. Can you keep claiming the first daily loot if you keep... If you progress further. Yes, so if you... That daily loot will always stay there. You beat, like, expeditions. You beat, like, a few waves in those expeditions. Let's say you reach level 10 in those expeditions. Then you'll be getting more daily loot. Because every five levels, you get more loot there. And that is it. You'll be able to keep getting the same daily loot, like, probably till the day you die. Or unless the game breaks or something. So you can keep taking that daily loot constantly. And if you progress further, you will be getting more daily loot. And, yeah, there we go. Sector 7. Daily gift from Sector 7. We got a scarf. Okay. Understandable. Have a nice day.
Are we getting horses some days? Because why do we have the horse items? I don't know. Maybe. What's the fastest way to get level 35? Just play the game and you'll get level 35. Oh my god, you've returned to hell, says Justin. It do be like that, guys. We are in sector 7. Blech. Kind of good, but we are here. So, fighter, the PvP starts in about two hours. I mean, probably no one's going to show up there anyways. And those that show up, they're all teaming up. And they'll destroy me anyways because the game is good. But what we should do is... Is, is, is whatever the place is called. The tournament, right? We need to go to the tournament. Okay, let's try to extend this. There we go. This is our gear. This is more of our gear. I haven't done this thing in a really long time, so I'm not sure what I need to bring with me. I can bring this. Hopefully I don't die and lose everything. I know I can't do this. I'm capable of losing everything. Do I have any more canned soup? I have no idea. Well, I don't even know if I'll be able to get the first spot. I don't even know if I can sneak attack them. I have still some of these guns and I'll just blast them because what else am I going to do here with these weapons? Will that be enough? I don't know. In any case, I am ready to go and do the tournament. It was a joke. I even watched the free to play series from four years ago. I saw you added the smiley face after that. I'm pretty sure you were joking, but just in case if you weren't, I just explained things. It's like, do you know when the next update will be? I have no idea when the next update's coming out. I don't have a slide, it's clue. Wait, how do you even do the tournament? Oh, you don't go to green zones. I forgot, guys. As I said, it's been eight months since I've played in this crater. The dark side of last on Earth. Sector 7. Yes. You guys are absolutely right. Will we ever hit 1 million subs? If the game gets like some sort of a nice update or you find a new game to play, then maybe. Perhaps. Um, let's go to the Red Forest. That's where we will begin. Imagine they added hamburgers. That'd be great. Pizzas and hamburgers. That's what Last on Earth needs. I bother with Sector 7? I don't know. Just to get furniture and decorate a space. Yeah, Sector 7 is pretty good. That's why nobody play uh, nobody plays here. It is pretty good. And this armor is gonna break. No, I'll need another armor. Um, This armor will absolutely break. I'll need another armor. Well, by the time it will be starting, I will... I'll go back to the base or something. And I'll search for another set of armor. I don't think I have any armor here, though. That's the crater. Those are the crater items. I just have the scarves and that's it. Uh... Did it. That's it. You've been invited to the tournament. Thank you very much. Do I accept it? Yes, let's accept it. That's it. Approximate wait time. Six minutes. Bruh. Bruh. Well, whatever. While that thing is loading, we can go back quickly to the base then. And we can find a new set of armor until the tournament begins. But sorry. Bloody scum video, says B-Joy. There will be more scum survival. I promise. Uh, maybe sneak peek at the end if you remind me that again. Maybe I'll show the sneak peek, because right now I kind of don't want to uh, search for the sneak peek. What is that it? The tournament started, there are only five people here and the tournament begun and I don't have armor. I didn't get more armor, they're fighting enemies without me. No, oh, I do have some of this cooler armor. Okay, so once that armor breaks, I will get this other one. This jacket and boots, whatever I have it. Let's go. Let's go, the tournament begun. We are ready. We are ready. Let's go for it, ladies and gentlemen. I thought it'll, it's going to take like five minutes for us to begin the tournament. But it's already here. And yeah, we are basically playing Sector 7 here in the crater because it's in the title. I thought it's just going to be a fun title. I couldn't come up with a title today on what we do here. 
So that's why we are in the crater. What we'll do tomorrow for another last night video, guys, don't ask me those questions. I don't know. Oh no, I didn't mean to get that ashy bloater. Will they all chase me or will they stop? At some point. Okay, that ashy bloater decided to turn around. That's good. Uh, that's the tournament. And some dudes already have thousands of points. Well, I guess we're not going to get the first spot today here unless I get very lucky. The tournament lasts for 20 minutes. Tournaments last here 20 minutes. I just need to find golden zombies, man. Just a few golden schmucks. Especially those golden oozers, right? Golden oozers are great. There we go. There is a golden zombie. Oh my goodness. I have to get all of them. Probably one by one. Okay, I just got that Asher runner. Let's heal up. As long as I don't pee myself, I'll be good. Okay, we're using pretty strong weapons here. I know, guys. I don't play in the sector here. I don't have nothing else. Oh, we got two golden zombies there. That's nice. Please tell me none of those other schmucks will attack me. Oh, no. Guards will run away. Oh, no. Another dude just attacked me out of nowhere. Okay, let's get this weapon. Let's start healing up. I can't mess it up. I can't mess up those two golden zombies. I already found them. I already cleared the way to those golden zombies. So we just have to do it. I accidentally shot, shot the wrong zombie. There we go. There's that bloater. There we go. There's the schmuck. How about I break this gun first? There we go. 240 points. Ladies and gentlemen, 240 points just like that. We pocketed 240 points. That's got to be a golden oozer, no? That is a golden oozer. How about I deal with both of these zombies down there? It'll be easier to deal with that golden oozer later. So for those who don't know, you can sneak attack with a crossbow. That's why I kind of switched to these crossbows. There we go. We sneaked attack with a crossbow. There's that. And now we can either sneak attack with a stronger weapon if I have any. I do have this gun, but uh, that weapon. But I don't think I'll be able to sneak attack without other zombies attacking me. So I'll just... Up. That is it. We did it. We've gotten some points. And we need to skedaddle from here. I don't know if there are any more golden zombies. We got two of them. That's fine. Whew. Four months ago, the sector still had 13, 15 players. It didn't have lots of players for a while now. It's like blasting guns in sector 7. It do be like that. That's what we do. Okay, this armor is about to break, so we'll need to get a different one, but that's okay. Let's go to the Red Forest again. We could go to the Bauxite Quarry as well. Say, so what's your opinion, guys, on Sector 7? Do you go here? Do you ever do the tournaments? Or are you just, or you've just forgotten about this place and that's it? Oh, there is a zombie here. I just got pretty lucky and unlucky at the same time. Actually, I got lucky. That That is luck. We got that ashen bloater. That's good. We got it. And there we go. That's another oozer. Another oozer. Ladies and gentlemen. And then I'll be able to switch to a different place. There we go. We got it. And that is it. I'm not even going to wait around we just gotta skedaddle from here and we gotta go to another zone ladies and gents because i think there are only two golden zombies maybe there's a third one but i'm not gonna bother about it 
I need to leave the clan. The leader is pretty strict. Oof. Maybe. I think Sector 7 looks realistic because of those railway lines. Railway lines? What are those railway lines? Also, playing in the Golden Tournament is kind of garbage. Like, the tournaments are just bad. Like, Golden Tournaments are... have worse rewards probably than other tournaments. Like, it, it just makes no sense. And Golden Tournaments take more time to begin them. It's just stupid. It's just... silly. Everything is silly. Okay, the armor will break, so we'll equip another armor. Everything is silly. Can I sneak attack this schmuck? Oh yeah, I was able to do over 180 damage. Okay, I see a golden zombie there in the middle. Um, I'll get this. Okay, all of them will start chasing us. I will unchase the big one. The bigger zombie, I wanted to... Leave me alone. Just have to run for long enough. There we go. That dude stopped chasing us. How about I get this now? And I deal with this guy. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. I'm still in the third spot, though. Your luck is out. No, no, I mean, if we didn't have guns here, it would have been more tricky to get those golden oozers, those golden zombies here in the very middle, but we have the weapons for it, so it's fine. Whatever, I'm just gonna soak up that damage. That's probably stupid, but I soaked it up anyways. Any other golden zombies here, perhaps? There is one more. Okay, I am absolutely ready to get it. Okay, the bloater. Well, I'll need to soak up all the damage, apparently. So we did it. I'll wait for the points to transfer. Boom, and that is it. Let's go more, ladies and gentlemen. Let's keep going. Finally, the screen stopped being blurry. Probably the quality just changed. You can change the quality yourself. Click on the top right thing there and switch the quality. If you're watching on mobile and PC, it's in the bottom right. Mm -mm. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. One red forest, one bauxite quarry. Let's go. The tournament rigged. Hmm. Before there were like sector seven things, there were clans and there was like a global leaderboard and you could see who won something in the clans. I don't know, it was... The previous Sector 7 was actually more advanced than this one. Stop spitting! Okay, cool. Thanks for not spitting. Okay, this guy. Could I, like, sneak attack it? I should be able to sneak attack it. I could just run away and probably... Oh, yes. There's another golden zombie. Okay, so this place has three zombies. Okay, cool. This place has three zombies. And I will try to get all of them. There we go. I will get that Asheron or whatever. I want to get this schmuck to and then I'll deal with the oozer myself. Yeah. 
Well, this weapon has no durability, but it still keeps pumping and outputting a lot of damage. That's cool. Okay, let's heal up fully and let's try to sneak attack that Uzer and then I'll use my HK weapon. Okay. That's it. There we go. We got the Uzer. And there's one more zombie up there. This is very lucky. Okay, we need to heal up. I can use my melee weapon. I can get this. I can start healing up and start shooting. And there we go. That was nice. And we are on the first spot with 2,500 points. <laughs> Losers! All those losers below me. The lag of the crater in regular mode is almost the same now, says Sam. That's actually a good joke. It's sad that it's true, but it's... But that's true. I think less people are playing in the crater, so maybe now there's less lag. What I don't like about Last Earth is that you can't dodge attacks. It would be like that. I agree. Okay, let's not dwell. Let's keep going or that dude will take us over. At least now the tournaments are a bit better because before you could auto clear locations and you could like pay to win your way to the top. Now I think auto clearing doesn't give you points. Okay, the dude's already... There were no zombies guys. Did that just zombie appear out of nowhere when I was running? Am I imagining? I'm on the second spot. Whoever's in the first spot, they're doing a lot of damage. They're doing pretty well and they're getting very lucky. There we go, I see a golden zombie there in the middle. So let's get it. I will get that crossbow. Whatever, we'll get the zombie as well. Oh no. Oh no. Let's start healing up. Golden Oozer is good. I'm on the first spot again. It. We can skedaddle now. I mean, there was maybe a second zombie. I don't know. I, I couldn't see anything there, so I just skedaddled. Kind of could have maybe ran around a bit longer. But whatever. I see. I always wonder how they get up to 3,000 points. It's pay to win. They can't really... Like, you can't use... Happy meals here anymore. Ready meals to get those points. So before you could do that, now you can't really do this. But it's still kind of pay to win ish here because if you want to get more points, you have to have more energy. And to have more energy, you have to have here silver coins. So it is still kind of pay to win ish, but it's a lot less pay to win than it was before. Where you could just like happy meal your way, where you could just buy ready meals and auto clear a bunch of zones and just go to the first spot without doing anything. Now, at least here, you have to play. Let's go that way. I will just kill the zombie. Why not? Okay, there's another golden zombie. I like it. I like that. That's an easy kill. This and then I get the HK. I could probably maybe even de aggro that zombie, but whatever. We're getting more points, 3k points, baby. Plus, I got pretty lucky here. You don't always get that many points. Sometimes you find just less golden zombies. The game just lagged a bit. Whoa. Oh, 
just want to walk around. Perhaps I'll find another golden zombie. Well, I couldn't find anything here. Yeah, let's skedaddle. He might use rations last minute and went, Guys, don't you speak English for the last time! I'm saying it, it doesn't work anymore. They have removed the option to use rations. I kept saying that for like the past five minutes. I can't believe it. It's as if I'm talking to a wall. Guys, you can no longer use rations to win. That pay to win option has been removed. You can no longer do that. Unless they've changed something while I wasn't looking. But sir, he might use rations, says DA. Well, maybe he might use rations. <laughs> Some of you definitely must be trolling. Guess, I guess walls don't have ears. Maybe. But yeah, there's always like every walls have eyes and ears. Well, apparently they don't have ears. Um, wow, that's a difficult spot. It's a lot of zombies to shred. Oh my goodness, that'll be very difficult. Very, very, very difficult. Got it. Luckily, we have these guns. Without these guns, it would have been a lot more difficult. Like, a lot more difficult. Okay, the dude keeps grinding. We have two more minutes, and we have a few more golden zombies. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I might have to abandon that golden zombie, ladies and gentlemen. I might have to abandon it. Another dude just attacked me out of nowhere. I think we might actually win now. We might actually survive. What? Okay, they just all disappear. That's pretty good. Do I still have more food? I'm kind of running out of food. Using uh, beans isn't really good because your character can pee with those beans. It's like, is it still pay to win? It is way less pay to win than it was before. It was a lot less pay to win than it was before. I mean, there are different levels of pay to win. When you can just dump an unlimited amount of money and win the tournament, it's kind of more pay to win. Like here, you still have 20 minutes. You still have to do the, to do things, but the person that has more energy kind of wins and the person that is more lucky. So it is still kind of pay to win because look at this, boom. For 25 coins, I can go again. So the person that doesn't have those 25 coins, it'll be more difficult, but it's a lot less pay to win than it was before. So it's still kind of goop. The tournaments are still bad. I'm not saying that they're perfect. They're still goop. I'm on the second spot! I'll die! Bruh! Am I gonna just shred all the zombies here right now? I have no idea. I need to shred everything I see. Because the guy probably found some golden zombies. He just... Overtook me in the last second. So I'll just shred some basic schmucks. Bruh, there was a golden zombie. I couldn't do it. I got tournament over. The guy got a few more points. The dude just got lucky. Ah! Uh, 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 I can't believe it! I lost! I'm actually disappointed. I'm actually disappointed. He used rations. Yeah, he was a cheater anyways. Yeah, this game is full of cheaters. The guy was a cheater. That's why he won. Absolutely. That's the reason. Three more days until arena event. Hope you get a purple machete blueprint. Yes, indeed. Every time I go to sleep and I can't wait for that arena event. Can't wait to get that purple blueprint. And I can't believe I lost. Can't believe I lost. Well, now we can get the loot. What did we get? A right, weapon. Pretty nice. And that was like absolute garbage. That is it. That's all we got, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we even had energy drinks here to use here. Okay. 
That's cool, I guess. We can delete this goop. Wait, maybe we have a clan storage. Maybe some people will take it. There we go. Let's give that goop for the clan people. There we go. I should have kept going faster, but at the same time, again, I've done almost everything as fast as I could, and I got pretty lucky, so that person just got even more lucky. In any case, I'll let them win. I'll let that dude win. Merch drop at 400k subs, uh, says uh, Sam. Actually, I wanted to do a merch drop at, uh, at 100 million views. And we already hit 100 million views and I still don't have a merge drop. Maybe there will be a merge drop later. I don't know. It's not really a priority now. I don't know. But yeah. Maybe. Someday, something in the future. I don't know. We'll see. In any case, we're going back to our main account here. So that was the crater, ladies and gentlemen. Was it fun? It was okay. I don't think it was that bad, but the rewards are pretty goop. Like for the time that I spent the uh, for the time that I've spent there, the rewards were like actually bad. And I got very lucky that I got a gun there as a reward. So there's that. Um we need now to attach a little bit of grass, ladies and gentlemen. Guys, are you ready to touch a little bit of grass? Have you ever touched grass? Well, then it's your time to touch it today. Last time we got two W's in a row. Am I gonna get at least one W today? I don't know, we'll see. Touch grass merch. Actually, that's a good idea. I'm gonna write it down because I will forget it. Touching grass. Maybe touching grass merch is actually pretty... It's actually pretty poggers. Like, touch grass merch. I do believe that it's pretty cool. Something very simple. It's actually pretty decent. I might pocket that idea. I might steal it. Maybe. Alrighty, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, wow. Where are we? What is this place? <laughs> Why am I in the forest? In a random forest. There we go. Finally, I'm on the road, kind of. Where is this? Okay, there is something written on his shirt. I honestly have no idea where could that be. There's no way that's in Romania. Well, I chose Romania anyways because it's somewhere. Oh, where was it? What? It was in UK? Who would have guessed it, guys? Who would have guessed that that's in UK? DA says UK. There's no way. No way. What? Is this UK too, then? Is this UK as well? Okay, the sun is kind of like in the north, so I mean, we gotta be in Africa. But where exactly? I have no idea. I'll just go somewhere random. Is this South Africa? I don't know. I'm just like basically walking there, and at the very end, I'll just make a random decision and I'll hope that it's good. Maybe I'll find like a sign saying something. I'll go around South Africa though. 
Well, where'd they go? I'm an idiot. Might be Botswana. I'll go here. Oh my goodness. I chose the location. It was actually way higher. It was all the way here. Okay. Understandable. Have a nice day. UK, guys. We are back in UK. Right? That place didn't look like UK at all. I thought it's something kind of Asian, but I wasn't sure that it's really Asian because when I went on the road, it didn't really look Asian. So that's why I went for Romania. So it's like somewhere in the middle-ish, kind of. But bro, Now we're just going 1v1. I'm going against that other person. And that's it. If I win, I get the W. If I lose, I lose. It's pretty simple. Where could this be? Like, there's no way it's UK again. Like, bro, it can be in so many places. What is this? Okay, there's a sign. I'm on the last spot. No, it was probably maybe Denmark, Norway, or somewhere. It was in Netherlands. How did this dude know? He's a cheater. That dude's a cheater, ladies and gentlemen. Luckily, we still have some more time to play here. I still have 30 more seconds to begin another match. So let's go for it. Hey, you, I'm waiting for that bloody sneak peek for scum, says BJ. I will show it, okay? I might forget it. Like, seriously, remind me one more time after we are done with this thing. I will show it. The sneak peek, aka the thumbnail. That's all the sneak peek that I have there. So, yeah. I will do it. I said that I'll show it. I will show you that bloody <laughs> sneak peek for scum. I know when that video is coming out. It's going to come out in the next few days. I don't have a clue where we are. It's kind of very weird. By very weird, I'm getting like mixed vibes. It feels very similar yet for some reason distant. Okay, there's something on that sign. Perisoru one flip is that um it's not spain probably while well, i'm on the last spot i'll get knocked out bruh i'm getting knocked out i got knocked out on the first round was it it was romania that was just horrible ladies and gentlemen that was like absolutely atrocious that was an l that was disgusting, and, uh, yeah, I am terrible. And I got knocked out on the first round. Like, you have to be really bad at Joe Gesser to get knocked out like that. I should be banned from Joe Gesser. That's it. I can't play anymore because the timer is up, and I need to wait eight minutes to play here again because I don't have premium Joe Gesser. So, ladies and gentlemen, we will be wrapping it up. Thanks for joining. Unless the, yeah, yeah, yeah the scum sneak peek. I need to check what episode that'll be. Um, the last episode was part 12. Okay, so where is part 13? Bro. Okay, there we go. That's the part 13. There we go. The thumbnail for the next scum video. And then we can skedaddle, right? We're all skedaddling, ladies and gentlemen. D terrible performance. Well done. <laughs> that was horrible. Like, you have to try to be that bad. I am that bad. Episode 14 is gonna be better. I actually have episode 14. I have episode 13, 14, 15. So yeah, I have some more sneak peeks. And uh, there we go. That's going to be episode 13, I guess. Where is it? There we go. There's the thing. 
that is it guys that is the episode 13 that is it goodbye that's enough of sneak peeks sayonara so take care ladies and gentlemen see you tomorrow with another video that's why you didn't play yesterday exactly that's why i didn't play yesterday That is it, the mountain. Yes, indeed, the mountain. So, thanks guys for joining. And see you tomorrow. Ciao, mouth breather, says the A. Ciao, people. Take care. See you later, everybody. Take care. See you later. Thanks for joining here. Shout out to all of you and see you later. Peace out, everybody.